do that. Here we are, back again. Guess who's back? Chesh is back. Chesh is back. With back Evan again. Um, Which, you know, we didn't even do sign-offs in the last one, so let's start by introducing ourselves. I'm going to let you go first. Hi, I'm Evan Neurosis, uh, aka Gem. I am a variety streamer. I like rum sometimes. Um, I <laughs> currently about rank 150 in the solo Demon Hunter leaderboards for season 10 in Diablo, which is what I do four days a week. Rum, yeah. Rumulin. 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 That's a thing. Um, four days a week, I stream Diablo from 8 o'clock Australian Eastern. Um, another day of the week, I do Throwback Thursdays with my bro, and we play games from our childhood which is super fun. And then on Mondays I play whatever the hell I feel like playing, which has been Dawn of War 3 lately. So yeah, that's me. I am a variety streamer and a lover of cats. And if you drop by my channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash amneurosis, you will see a lot of cats. Cats. Cats, 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 cats. I just really love cats. I just, I just, I just want to hug them and put them in a basket. And oh my God, I'm thinking about cats again. You're a crazy cat lady. <laughs> I am a crazy cat lady. Sorry. I also play magic and board games and all kinds of things. So mm. yeah, that's me. We co-host board games and brewskies. We do. Everyone should really know about. Because there's brewskies and yeah. board games. And I am Cheshire Plays Games and this is my birthday. Let's do this again. Come on, let's Cheers. do it again. Cheers. Happy and birthday. I'm really affiliated as well. So yay. Both we Twitch affiliates. Like rum, rum, That's a thing. Romulan ale glasses. We're so. people. Mm. Um, and I am a TCG variety streamer, not just a variety streamer like most people. I do a variety most of different TCGs. Um, and, well, some people, I guess. Uh, and at the moment, I'm doing magic. Gem's already opened her first booster pack of this box, which is the last. It has a crab. Or one of the last. Ancient crab. Gem's got crabs, lol. Um, <laughs> it is the last uh, of my. Or well, second last of my booster packs, uh, booster boxes, because I have one more to go, which is for Saturday's uh, drafting bad, one p.m. AEST on this channel. Uh, it's going to be off the hook. We've got uh, six people, three rounds to play magic. Um, so we're gonna basically bust the light. Fantastic! You want to just put the rares aside for me? Uh, yes. So what we're doing is we're going for just the spice, um, and potentially anything that really speaks to us. Um, Crabs. The rare's going to pop up, so we should be able to just go failure to comply. Uh, but if we find a card we want to talk about, like this one, um, then we're probably going to pop it up to be talked about. Uh, this particular card is uh, what you might remember from the red-blue variant, uh, which had haste and prowess. But this one has uh, a black and a blue creature, human, cleric, flying. Whenever you cycle a discarded card, gets plus one, plus one to the end turn. Um, pretty interesting design. Uh, especially considering that there is a card in this particular set that allows you to get all the cards you discarded back. So if you can find a way to just cycle out your hand, I don't know, that, that sounds like pretty good value. What do you got? Okay, we got a Harsh Cleric. Ooh! Harsh okay. Mentor! That's okay. a money card. That that's, is a money card. That's a money card. Yeah. Um, I just saw this and I really like this. We were talking in the last video about um, the theme of the decks. Um, and I really like... The, it's, the it's, hieroglyphic theme, that's nice. It really should have been a blue um, black deck. It just so should have. Look at how pretty this land is. Like, just look at it. It's, oh, these, these full art this lands are stunning. Full art land, you can't see it there, but you can see it right here. It's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Look at that. They're just so pretty. So pretty. So. So if you want to put those there, put your yeah. rare aside. Uh, probably just put it here. We'll just yeah. pull the rest. Yeah. Okay. Um, so my rare. There's Throne of the God Pharaoh. Uh, so it is something I want to talk about because of the red the red deck wins article that I posted up. Um, there is one on YouTube, uh, Cheshire Place Games YouTube, or you can go to StickyTrigger.com and there's a, a whole thing on there, a whole post about red deck wins. Uh, the thing that with this one is it's two mana for a legendary artifact, but at the beginning of your end step. Each opponent loses life equal to the number of tap creatures you control. Um, so that is sort of interesting. That design space, um, again, is why I really like the set because they have, it feels like they have tried to kind of push that envelope a little bit more than, than usual. What's your mm. rare? This guy. Again, another, another solid rare. 
Champion of Verona. Really, really solid. Um, I really like this, again, with the theme. See the room inside. The art on that card is really beautiful. You are all about the art. I am all about the art. And there's a freaking crocodile in here. You know what? I used to play red green beast decks and some of these crocodiles are really really attractive leaning on this mastery not much to say about that one i don't i don't value it very highly at all um it's okay but whatever oh who's gonna get that first it's gonna be me it's gonna be you it's gonna be me it's a gideon's intervention very nice cool oh, oh. got our first whip got a shiny Hey, foil card. There we go. It is a foil Blood Rage Brawler. Nice. Love uh, it. Well, if you'd like to clear your peasants off the stage, because I've got a god. You've got a god. Yep. Kefnet. Kefnet. Um, I don't think... I personally don't think this is very standard playable. Um, or even constructed playable. It may seem some EDH. I really don't like Kefnet at all. I don't even like it limited, so... I guess we'll see if somebody can um, can make a liar out of me, if you would like to say. But, um, yeah. I just don't really like it. Alright. We have... Alright. I think you beat my go. mythic. There we go. So that is another money card. Uh, Liliana. She is, I think, currently sitting at about 15 to 17 US. Um, it's a very, very good Planeswalker. Very solid. So that's our second mythic of the box. Um, for myself, I have a foil. We're in a small moment. I'm sure that's Rainus. It looks like a snakehead. It is. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and a split card, which I really don't like these split cards at all. I hate the split cards so much. I think when they started introducing the split cards, I quit magic. <laughs> that's like, very that telling. That was one of the things that just made me go, I don't like it. I don't like the art style. I don't like what's happening here. It's not nice. Um, all right. So we have a split card. <coughs> Awkward. Which is rags. Um, and we also have a foil hooded brawler. Oh, nice. There we go. Very nice. All the oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Speaking of foils, now oh. I have cracked the most, most better part of a case, and this is the first one of these I have seen. Oh, that is pretty. That is <laughs> so pretty. It's like it's a normal island. That um, is so but pretty. That is, hang on, uh, uh, just... These are going to be bank. These are going to be probably worth more than How the Planeswalkers. How cool is he, is he, though? Like, look at the art on that card. That is beautiful. <laughs> and my rare. Here's another land. Cycling land. Because apparently that's all I know how to crack, is cycling land. Cycling land. Yeah. Uh, nothing really I want to talk about in the uncommons, so they can go away and that's fine. Alright, so, so we have... A glory bound initiate. Uh, really solid card for two mana. Especially considering Exerted on turn three becomes a four forward lifelink. That is really good. Um, I think it's it's actually a really, really solid card. Um, yeah. Speaking of non solid cards, however, we have my perspective won't change won't change on this card at all. Pantastic. What is it? New perspectives. New perspectives. I uh, really don't like it at all. This is um, so exciting. I have seen there is a, a control deck that's based around it that's really good. All right. Um, but I really don't. I don't like it. It's too expensive. For me. We have another Gideon. Oh damn! There's a money card. Twenty-five dollar US money card, I believe. Still at there the moment. There we go. This has been a really good lovely, box. Lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Now we just need to crack an invocation. Some of these monuments, though. So that's Mythic number three. Yeah. Here's Mythic number four. Hazard at the Fervor. Uh, now I do have. I actually have a buyer for this. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's Already good. Already lined up. Yeah. Said to me, like, hey, man, if you crack any more of those hazards, like, send them my way. Because uh, right. I need them for my deck. But then again, I also need them for my own. When I read, so. We have an approach of the second sun. <laughs> That's great. It's not a money card, but it is an alt win card, and everyone knows how much I love alt win it's cards. It's not popping for a zombie. It, it won't. It won't because yeah, the scan doesn't actually come up. Um, so it is it one white like and that. six colorless. Uh, if it is the second time you've cast it, you've won the game or cast a card with that name. 
Um, if it's the first time you cast it, you put it seven cards from the top of your library, uh, you gain seven life. And this is what I was talking about at the end of the last video, is the fan, like fan bearer style kind of, you know, people that were around mm -hmm. that are, you know, that would be cool. Yeah. So here's our foil. Very there nice. And our rare, which is a dud. Uh, a lot of people gave this a bit of fanfare for no apparent reason. Um, I really don't know why people seem to think that this is actually going to be good in EDH, because by the time you play it, uh, you generally want to have a better board presence. I don't know. It's not worth it. Mm. Cycling land. Have a cycling land. That's our rare. Actually bought one of those last night. Five bucks. Five bucks. Five buckarini. And now I actually have another copy. So I'm going to have spares, which is fine. Which is fine. Lots of lizards and stuff. I reckon this would be fun to make base decks out of. Pretty... Pretty These small. full out lands are great. You usually get yeah, about so pretty. roughly about five full out lands in a box, um, which is rarer than usual. Uh, which is just, I guess, one of those things. Here's our foil rare. Kind of bombed out on that one. There we go. Uh, and our actual rare is another Oracle's Vault, which we saw from the Planeswalkers deck, so that's not going to be worth pretty much anything, really. <laughs> Alright. But hey, this here. guy. Here's a cat token for you. <gasps> cat token! So that guy is Neheb the Worthy. Mm -hmm. He's a choo choo. He costs three. He does fire strike. Uh, he does some stuff, I guess. There's some. Five attack, he does some lizards. stuff. He does things. He's a, um, he's a good EDH card. Found another sacred cat. There's one. Okay. So here we have an uncommon I want to talk about because it's great. Just, it's a big fatty and in sealed and limited. It's just a bomb. But here's an interesting rare that is starting to gain some traction because two blue and X draw X cards discard a single card. Uh, pretty small downside. If you're playing this on turn five, you're still drawing three and discarding one. You're still digging deeper into your deck. Uh, late game, it's really, really good. So, no complaints from me. Pull for tomorrow is really cool. Got another Neheb. Another one! I'm so sick of seeing these guys. That makes four from this case so far. Blug. Blug. I don't need four. What do I need four for? Uh, here's a really good card that I want to speak about. Soul Scar Mage. Unassuming for uh, um, a 1 2 with prowess for one. Uh, so, uh, you could call it. A slower version of damn what the hell was the card's name it's gone out of my head now I think it wouldn't anyway um, when you deal non-combat damage it's dealt as minus one minus one counters instead that makes this whole scar mage really good like just really solid have an archfiend archfiend of if near uh, this is actually the via box promo um, I have found so far, this is probably the fourth one I've cracked out of this case. We've got one more box out of the case to go, which is for the draft on Saturday. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, I don't know how good it's going to be yet. I also got them because they are the buy a box promo. Um, so it looks good, and it looks like a solid card, but I don't know how standard play playable it's going to be just yet. You know what, this on a Crop Captain for two mana... Is, is really pretty good. amazing. Yeah. Speaking of actually more amazing, we um, have Bone Picker. So, for one and three colors, you get a three-two fly with Death Touch. Right? Sounds pretty crap. Like it's it's alright. It's flying. It's a three-two. It's got Death Touch. It's passable. You're gonna play it at four mana. But if you kill a creature, not even just your own, if it's your opponent's creature you've killed, if a creature died this turn. It costs you a single black for a 3-2. Wow. We can get this out on turn 2 pretty easily. That is going to be huge and standard. It's another full art land. Look at that mountain. It's very pretty. And my rare was another Drake Haven. Yay, Drake Haven! Cycling land, cycling land. You get a Drake Haven, and you get a Drake Ooh. Haven, and you get a Drake Haven. That's exactly it. Right. Um, another split card. Ooh, really good. Never to return. Another one of those pretty mountains. Kills Planeswalkers. Really good. Um, can exile a problem card from somebody's discard pile, like an embalmed creature, to 
great you a 2-2 zombie. Um, so it still has upside even when you've used it. I think that that's, that's a real solid card. Um, and it should hit about at least a $5 mark at some point. Lots of those pretty lands. More pretty land? Lots and lots of pretty land. And mouth to feed. Uh, really solid in seal. Um, but that's about it. And we did pick up another bone picker. Which is great. So I'm definitely going to be filling my quotas on bone pickers, which makes me real happy. I get sacred cats for days, so I'm pretty happy about that. Sacred cats for days, yo! I'm not going to keep all of them. It's <laughs> the ones I'm allowed to keep. You can keep all of them. Alright, well, I'll have another sacred cat token. Which isn't going to come up, that's fine. Um, and chuck some stuff on the ground. And we're going to have an insult, another split card. Ooh, that's really fun. Um, especially the double damage, really fun. Uh, the second part of the card, who cares? The first part of the card you're going to, to be using. Uh, especially if you've got like a whole bunch of red stuff on the board or a whole bunch of burn in your hand and you play it, you can just burn out your opponent. It's great. I have a curator of the mysteries. Woo! We're barreling through these packs and I haven't seen an invocation. Then what, uh, is it only going to be the rare? Uh, no, it'll be a special card right at the right. Okay. Uh, there might be in my pile, I don't know. Alright, we have... No, you would have noticed it as, like, foily. Oh! Nissa! This is, a, this is our third Planeswalker from this box. Um, and I think that that's our fifth Mythic. Um, so, solid amount of Mythics, but really good to get a third Planeswalker in this box. Nissa is really undervalued right now. Um... I think that she's less than both Gideon and uh, Liliana, uh, which is criminal. And I think it's just because she's blue-green, but yeah, uh, I would, if I was you, if I got this in foil, I'd definitely hang on to it. If I didn't get it in foil, I'd probably think about hanging on to it anyway, because um, it looks real solid. Uh, my foil is probably not going to show up because it looks like I think it's got too much glare in it. That's fine. Doesn't really matter anyway. It is um, Supply Caravan. It's just a foil camel, basically. Um, and another one of those damn cycling lands that apparently I love just to crack so much of. All the time. Have a Bounty of Luxor. Nice. So many of these kitty cats. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Speaking of kitty cats, this is one I was actually going to bring over for you. But now we've got a copy just to give you. Hey! It's a Regal Caracal! Uh, which spawns kitty cats and gives other kitty cats plus one plus oh, one. Oh shit. You got an invocation? What's that? Oh shit! Shit balls! Wow, Cryptic Command! Holy crap! Uh, I don't know if this is gonna show up on camera. It doesn't look like it is. It's no. just oh my god. Back 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 forward. There it is. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, this box just um just got spice. That is that is spicy. And that was my last pack too. Whew. I have to fan myself. Mr. Darcy! Mr. Darcy! Oh, my! Uh, let's have a look at how its condition is. Because some of these have been coming out with, like, weird crease defects and stuff. But this one seems like it's actually slightly off-cut, but still in fairly good condition. Um, no creases. It's just a slight up up-cut, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so, Cryptic Command is a reprint of a really old card. Uh, it is a 3 blue and a white... Uh, colourless? Not a white. Idiot. Choose two. Counter target spell. Jeez, it's so hard to read. Uh, return target permanent to its owner's hand. Tap all creatures your opponent's control. Draw a card. Um, so it's a modal card, so it has many different modes. And holy crap. I feel like I just took a golden cho a golden ticket out of a chocolate. Right yeah, above. pretty much. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Al. And this was the rare, <laughs> which is a Temet Vizier of Nakum. No, Nakatum. Um, Temet's really good because of uh, what Temet does with uh, creature tokens. Right. So. Last one. Last one. Last one. And we get a pretty swamp. Uh, pretty swamp. And Hapatra Vizier of Poisons. 
uh, which is really good in the minus one minus one deck, and no idea why your deck wasn't black green with Habatra, which would have made sense. Right. Uh, but whatever. Did you want to thumb through these really quickly in case there was something? There, there won't be. There won't be. No. Okay. If there's no way you could have missed it, basically. Um, so let's let's have a look. Uh, I'm just gonna put these face down before we do. You know what type of spice did we crack? Uh, because we already know that this is probably the best box I have seen in quite some time. Oh boy. That was really exciting. That was really exciting. Was uh, I think it's about a $60 card. That's that's super exciting. I'm not sure I get the spiders. I get the insects, I get the scorpions. I'm not sure I get the spiders. I feel like there should be snakes also. I I feel you're correct. Um, or just more scarabs. Yeah, or more scarabs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, although I don't know how many spiders are in the set, whether it was one or more. I've seen quite a few. Right. Um, pouring through to find all the good stuff for people to look at. Totally not trying to buy time at all. Mm. Alright, here we go. So, uh, Cycling Land, pretty good. Cycling Land. Cycling land. We got our foil land. Uh, we got the uh, never to remember, <laughs> never to return, because I don't remember. It's terrible. Uh, are we? I'm way off camera here. Let's go Come all up. the way up yeah. here. All yeah. the way up. Yeah, all the way up. All the way up. There we go. So never to return. We got the Drake Haven, the Soul Scar Mage, pull from tomorrow. Uh, we want to put those to the back, uh, and then we got our harsh mentor, which is on screen. Yes, good. But then we got our Hazaret, our Kefnet, our Gideon, Liliana, Nissa, and holy crap, the cryptic command of doom, which isn't showing up very well. So there is a. Uh, I think that was pretty successful. Yeah. Yeah. Happy that's a, a really good box. Um, that's the best birthday box I could have asked for. Uh, especially Maybe seeing... a giant pile of stuff. <laughs> yes. Ooh, cryptic man. Oh. Mm, You're happy with smells that? Smells like delicious cardboard. Yes, I am. That is the Wait. second invocation out of this box. And now I don't feel so bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much. Gee that's dang. just... Holy crap. We did good. We did good. We did um, good? And a bunch of foils, of course, you know, which are just great. Uh, I feel like I'm going to start doing eBay repackages up, so keep an eye out for that. Um, they'll just be like repacks of rares from throughout different sets that I've had laying around. I should probably actually move them at some point um, and chuck in some spice as well to get people interested. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, but this has been real good. Um, and It's time for you to go home and have your birthday dinner. Yeah, it is. It's, it's 5.44 already here. Time for me to... to Mosey on. Well, thank you so much there. for having me. You're totally welcome. Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at either either on Twitter at, at Urban Neurosis or on twitch.tv forward slash Urban Neurosis. Um, I am there six days a week. Schedule's on the page, so check it out. Um, <laughs> it's upside down. Upside down, upside down. Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, so come check me out. I will be playing some more Diablo 3, pushing the leaderboards and doing some crazy stuff with that in about two hours. So come hang out. Uh, as for myself, Cheshire Plays games pretty much everywhere. Uh, if you're looking for me on the Facebooks, I am Cheshire Plays. On the Twitter, I am at Cheshire Plays. Please come talk to me because I get lonely. Aww. I get real lonely and Aww. you should come and talk to me. Aww. That's not true. I'm lying out my ass, but you should come and talk to me anyway because community. Let's yeah. build community. Um, Let's do it. On the weekend, you can catch me right here on Twitch TV forward slash Cheshire Plays Games, where I will be doing a six person, three round Amonkhet draft. And we will be drafting boosters and uh, playing some games, and hopefully, maybe we'll crack another invocation, but. Uh, now that we've cracked two out of this case already, I, I kind of don't think we'll crack another one. Mm. Um, which happens. But we'll have prizes and giveaways. The Planeswalker decks you've already seen here, we'll have some sealed one of those. Uh, one Liliana and one Gideon are for grabs, which we'll still try and figure out how we're going to do, because uh, I haven't figured that out yet. 
Um, there will be booster packs up for grabs as well. Uh, there will be a deck builders toolkit for new players uh, that will be up for grabs that you can win. So please come and join me uh, and have a lot of fun because we're going to be trying to uh, raise me some bits yeah. as well as uh, smashing out some some limited goodness with magic. Bits for Al. Mm. Bits for Al. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, I think that we are pretty much done here and I've left your uh, your kitchen table in a shambles. This is a a, a some amount of mess. We'll deal with it. It's all good. That was really (laughs) exciting. I would like to do that again That was very exciting. I can't believe you're the one who crapped the... Crapped the... Yes. Crapped. This guy. Cracked the cryptic command. Uh, That is some sex right there. That is just sex in a car. I feel like I should stop touching it otherwise (laughs) Al's going to beat me. Um. (laughs) Oh, come on. People will think you're serious and they'll be like, he beats women. No, no. Um... It's all good. It's all good. Mm. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for, for everything. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here. And uh, we will definitely catch you next time. Yeah, yeah. Um, whenever the next Board Games and Brewskies is. Week after next. Week after next. I think. Yeah. We're, we're, Let's go with that. Yep. Yeah. Nathan, yeah. Nathan Robert Cox, uh, yeah, formerly Nathan of Robert. PC Powerplay and other magazines, um, journalist, writer, and all-round big Bearded Wonder is going to be joining us, so that'll be great. Yeah. Um, yep. And I think Megan was joining us too, maybe. I can't remember who I lined up we'll as the other guest. Out. I'm it really will terrible. Be, it'll I'm be sorry. on the Twitters, um, yeah. and, and we'll sort it out. But thank <laughs> you so much, guys. So this is us signing off, and uh, keep cracking packs. Keep doing that.